Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. So uh, recently we've been working on a uh, new motor, uh, I200. It's a 38 millimeter, a bit smaller than a uh, normal in preparation for the uh, larger uh, Mark II fire, the uh, larger engine. But what this video is, is I'm just gonna real quick run through all the parts and assembly of the thing, just more for documentation than uh, anything else. So I'm not gonna take my time and edit it all nicely. I'm just gonna kind of run through uh, this new engine just so we can have it documented. Uh, so as I said, 38 millimeter. Um, this particular casing we're using is an eighth inch wall. So pretty, pretty standard stuff. It almost matches the um, H219 that I use for my L1 cert. Just aluminum instead of fiberglass. Uh, so for the nozzle system, what that's uh, what that is is here's the nozzle. Graphite machined very nicely with a uh, 0.3 inch throat. And this is the retainer, also made out of aluminum. And these holes are tapped for 632 uh, size threads. So the way it works, the nozzle just snaps in there like so. And then the whole thing fits in the casing. Oh, got the O-ring. There's a little lip here so that the O-ring goes on. Seals it up nicely. Okay, and the whole thing slides in just like that and is held in by these 632 screws there. So that's how the front end works. Uh, the back end I've already got installed. Just a, I don't know, it's a pretty simple aluminum bulkhead. Uh, we're using snap rings in, in this new design, which I've never done before. But since it was small enough, we could cut the grooves on the lathe, and I figured we might as well go and try. They're a one and a, one and a quarter inch snap rings. And I've cut a 40 thou groove for them, and it goes in real nicely. The uh, threaded hole in the top uh, of the bulkhead is not, it does, it's not a through hole. It's just to mount slash, it helps putting it in and put it in and take it out. You just like put a bolt in there and you can, it's a lot easier to position and stuff. Uh, but that's <coughs> nothing to do with like ignition. Or anything. The ignition is through the throat as per usual. Uh, so that's pretty much it. As you can see here, simulations have it at 320 Newton seconds. Um, pretty, pretty basic design. We're going to be testing this by the end of the week. Hopefully I'll have a video of that up pretty soon. And then once this goes well, we'll move on to testing big boy which is almost ready to go just finishing up some of the fuel grains making some thermal coupler thing easier make sure there's no uh, involuntary uh, disassembly events but yeah uh, that's it uh, thanks for watching I'll see you soon